Welcome to Daring Photography Tips and Tricks with the Sony DSC HX 400V, in which you'll learn to take photos that eschew the ordinary and embrace the daring. You'll find out some methods that will teach you how to leave the run of the mill behind and search for something more exotic. In this video, I'll get into some really cool features of the Sony, features it has in common with many other Sony models. Some people who have watched my watercolor nature videos have asked how I make watercolor photos, so I'll talk about that. It's a way to add a more artistic bent to your pictures. I'll also discuss using flash and delve into black and white nature photography in interesting ways, and I'll show examples. So here we go. It's not hard to use the watercolor setting on the Sony DSC HX 400V to produce great photographs with an artistic flair. You simply have to turn on the watercolor setting, find a compelling subject you'd like to photograph, and compose the picture in the viewfinder and press the shutter release. It's an automatic setting. Finding something beautiful and composing a photograph around that is the hard part. Watercolors is an automatic setting, so once you're re you've recognized something gorgeous and conceived your photo, you don't have to do anything more than click. The camera takes some time to make the watercolor, but then it's done and you have something to frame. To turn on the watercolor setting, simply press menu and then choose the camera folder. Go to page four and scroll down to picture effect. Choose watercolor and you're set to take some fine artistic photographs that people think came from an artist's brush. I was amazed to learn you can use high-speed sync with this camera. I think somebody at Sony forgot to remove the software to do this from the HX 400V, where this is an advanced technique that can give you some cool effects. High-speed sync allows you to use flash with a very fast shutter speed if you wish to stop action or give some added light or emphasis to a photo with just a touch of fill flash and it's not hard to use. Simply choose flash in the white balance setting, pop up the flash and set the shutter speed to any high speed you choose. You'll have to play around with this to make sure your shutter speed doesn't darken the photo too much. When exposing in manual mode, first expose for the background so that it is properly lit. Then use the flash to light the foreground, whether it's a flower or a person. You might even be able to stop a hummingbird's wings in flight, if you're lucky enough to find one. When I got my Godox TT-685S flash, I tried it on the HX400V, but it would not work. Now I can make it work, but with limited function. First, you must turn on flash in the menu under white balance. You can shoot only single shot, not in burst mode. This flash then works with this camera in TTL and manual modes, with the modes dial set at A for aperture, S for shutter speed, and M for full manual control. The flash says you can use a multifunction to get multiple images in one frame, but this takes some work. In multi-mode, you can take one photo showing a person in several spots walking across the frame. It works best if you have a black background and a shiny person walking. In multi, you'll see buttons on the flash with settings for multi and MZ. Multi means how many shots you want to take. If you wish to add or take away light, that also works in these modes. You can add or subtract up to 3 EV either way in one-third step increments. I found it almost impossible to get multi to work with this camera and flash. The Godox also works in TTL with several of the scene functions. You can use it with portrait, pet portrait, night portrait, snow scene, beach scene, and landscape. It's disabled for other 
scene selections, such as sports, night, fireworks, and high ISO. If you use the flash indoors, I think it's better to point the flash head toward the ceiling and bounce the light. It spreads the illumination out and gives a more pleasing portrait. I like intensifying black and white shooting by cranking up the contrast and sharpness in the camera. It gives the photographs a more dramatic look. If you do not want a dramatic look but a softer one, don't crank up the contrast and sharpness. You can also add drama by taking away light to darken the picture. Here are some examples. I finally took Sony's recommendation and got a very fast Sony card, and it made a difference. The HX400V doesn't have a buffer, so when you shoot at 10 frames per second, it writes straight to the memory card, and this takes a while. While the camera is writing, I think I might lose some of the information in the picture, with the result that the quality will suffer. That won't happen with a very fast card, although it still seems to take a long time to write bursts to the card. Let's take a look at some photos now that I think were improved simply by using a fast card to get all the information written quickly. Phrase Nietzsche, photography is most interesting and offers up its greatest rewards when you live dangerously. So photograph dangerously and be daring because that's a great part of thinking artistically. Being daring can take the boring out of your photography. 